dear students assalamu alaikum today we will try to learn the remaining part of the short story the servant and about the major themes of the story it was becoming more and more irksome every minute for him to trample the streets in idleness he left no stone unturned in his efforts to achieve some some kind of job he tried all his friends and acquaintances even kept people up on the street and asked if they knew about a job anywhere but in vain finally jerasim could not bear a burden on his men any more some of them were disturbed by his coming to them and on his behalf others had suffered unpleasantness from their monsters everything to do he was at a loss altogether often he would go without eating for a whole day jerasim had been without work for weeks it was what a friend from his village did for him to secure a job that brought about the climax of the story in order to secure a place for jerasim the coachman poisoned the ears of his monster against an old employee the monster knew that the old man had all the merits of a good worker yet he could not help falling to the eloquence of his coachman and he decided to take jerasim at the old man's place jerasim was now very happy to have finally a job for himself he went to have a glimpse of his future home which he was to stay in from the day he was supposed to join when jerasim went to have a glimpse of his future home he heard the old couple from inside the same house weeping and mourning weeping and mourning for losing their only source of living to the coachman's friend he heard them complaining about how the coachman poisoned the ears of his monster for securing the position for his friend the unfortunate couple was now left with no option other than begging for their survival jerasim felt guilty conscious and decided not to take the position thus the anti climax is reached in the story when the young man did choose to be workless rather than to steal the old man's position now about the major themes of the story this story has at least two major themes one how unworthy a man feels of himself when he is without work jerasim had almost descended to snatching the bread of the old man when he could not find a job otherwise the second theme is that human consciousness must lead the man in his daily course of life when jerasim was 
awakened by his inner voice, he could realize how sinful it was to snatch somebody else's position to satisfy his own need. Now about the elements of irony in the story. As we know, irony is the figure of speech which consists of a statement that appears to be praise but is really a condemnation. In a general sense, the irony of a situation could be when honest efforts are left unrecognized, while as dishonesty is acclaimed as merit. The story, the servant produces much of irony when the coachman flatters his master for keeping himself in his good books. He keeps on gratifying his loyalty for his master. He reveals his monster everything that he notices in other servants and poisons his ears against them. The monster did never cost any doubt in him and he would instead value his efforts. This way the hard working servants would go unnoticed while as the glib-tongued coachman made merry. The irony in the story is again created when the same coachman leveled many charges against the old servant. The monster yielded quite comfortably and replaced the old man from his job. Thanks.